Shalom and good morning to Feast of Booths, Sukkot, Day 6, Early Morning Update with the Yabaji. Happy Preparation Day. Yay! <laughs> I had another good night's sleep, another restful night's sleep. It's been great to be able to get all these good night's sleeps in a row. <laughs> Um, I had a great day yesterday, of course. Yesterday was my, uh, me and my husband's 26th um, anniversary uh, when we got married. So it was a, it was a great day. <clears throat> it's a great day. It's a blessing um, to be able to um, remain married to my best friend <laughs> um, where we've been together uh, half of our lives and that is something that you don't take for granted you don't take lightly and you don't take loosely it takes um, a lot of conscious intentional effort and work to grow together in a marriage and I am a very thankful that um, my husband uh, chose to continue to grow and to mature and to stay um, because a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. Um, we see a lot of marriages, um, you know, end because of um, so many different uh, reasons um, you know a lot of it is sin a lot of it is sin you know sin has taken place in the marriage you know idolatry adultery you know abuse um, lack of communication selfishness, pride, um, you know, immaturity, you know, so many um, different reasons, lies, deceit, that marriages, you know, end. <clears throat> and some people shouldn't have even gotten married to each other in the first place, you know, so, in the end, you know, the, the consequence of them getting married when they shouldn't have gotten married to each other in the first place is that the marriage ends up ending. So, I'm, I'm so very, very grateful for every time, you know, we have another year together. You know, marriage is not to be taken lightly or loosely. You know, for those of you who are like, I, I want to get married, I, I want a wife, or I want a husband, you've got to make sure that you are ready spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, all of the above. And, you, you know, you just can't want a male. <laughs> and you can't just want a female. Okay? You have to seek the Most High God for who He has ordained for you to marry. Remember, marriage is a covenant. Marriage is a covenant relationship. You know, society today has re reduced marriage to so many different things that the Most High God has not said that it is. And um, we have to make sure that we, you know, hold on to what the scripture says that marriage truly is. And, you know, know our roles. And if you already are married, and, you know, if you, if you have a great marriage, you know, keep growing in that great marriage. 
if you're having, you know, stumbling blocks and obstacles and problems and challenges in your marriage and trials and tribulations, but you're still together, you know, and that marriage is not, you know, abusive to either one of you, but you're just having problems, start seeking the Most High Yah, you know, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as to what solutions need to be implemented in your marriage for you to come together and start becoming as one. You know, that's what we, we've been doing, my husband and I, and that's what we continue to do. Um, if we're gonna continue to move forward together and if we're going to, you know, teach, train, and mentor our sons to be future heads of households. You know, it, it's so very important that we understand as parents, you know, if you have a family, if you have children, that that's what you're doing. You're training your children to be future heads of households and if they're daughters, to be future helpmeets for their husbands you know and that's why the role of the husband the wife the mother and the father are so important because that's what you're doing for the next generation you know and you're either teaching them the right way according to scripture or you're teaching them the wrong way according to society and according to the world system and so, with, whether you realize it or not, whether you want to do it or not, you're always teaching. You're always setting some type of example. And it's important for us to make sure that we're setting the right example, that we're showing a set-apart example for our your children, for the next generation. And um, knowing your role as a husband, as a wife, as a mother, as a father, you know, and fun functioning in those roles um, consistently, continuously, in a disciplined manner, um, even when you don't feel like it, <laughs> is, is very, very important. I know there are times where I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, um, and you just want to you know, do whatever, but you can't. You can't be a, a lazy husband, and you can't be a lazy wife, and you can't be a lazy father, and you can't be a lazy mother. You can't, you, you just can't. If you're going to give, you know, a heritage, uh, inheritance of blessing to your children, and even the children, they can't be lazy children and function outside of their scriptural role as children you know towards their parents and within a family you know obedience must take place you know honor must take place by children toward their you know towards their parents and that is that is very very important in in them you know, seeing the blessings and the promises of, of Scripture from the Most High Yah to come to pass in their life. And so we've got to remember that, you know, knowing your role first and foremost, and then once you know your role and then have a complete understanding of your role, then you start functioning in that role. You start doing that role. Okay, you start living that role out. And it's not always easy. It's not always easy to be the, the, the set apart wife that will set apart her husband and her children. It's not always easy. Okay, but it's necessary. It's necessary. And I know that the times that I didn't function in my role, blessings didn't manifest in my life they didn't manifest in my marriage they didn't manifest in my in my family but as i continue to uh, learn my role 
you know, know my role, understand my role, and function in my role, that's when the blessings uh, of the Most High Yah started ma being manifest, manifested in my, um, in my marriage and within my family as a whole. And so, you know, this is something that, you know, is really not optional. You know, a lot of times we think, oh, this is optional. You know, we're married. I'm going to do what I want to do. And, you know, I'm going to raise my kids any old kind of way and hope for the best. No, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It takes a conscious effort. It takes a lot of prayer. It takes, sometimes it takes fasting. Sometimes it, you know, it takes seeking the face of the Most High Yah. Um, listening to what he tells you to do uh, through scripture and you know and, and, and by his set apart spirit it, it takes submitting to your husband you know um, it, it, it takes uh, you know watching over your children and sometimes it's, it's staying up late at night it's um, getting up early in the morning you know, to make sure that your household is intact. And, um, you know, when you are dedicated, dedicated to doing what is right in the eyesight of Yah, when it comes to your marriage, when it comes to your family, when it comes to living a set apart life, He will bless you you he will bless your marriage he will bless your family and he will bless you individually and you know before we can you know rebuild our you know our community and uh rebuild with uh within ourselves as a people we've got to rebuild marriages and then we got to rebuild our families and a community is made up of families and so when your community is torn down and is destroyed it's usually because marriages are destroyed families are destroyed and so we've got to get back to the business of rebuilding our marriages you know forgiveness must take place within our marriage you know reconciliation must take place within our marriage you know, communication must take place within our marriage. You know, there, there are so many different things that, that must take place within our marriage so that we can get back to what the Most High Yah originally intended us to be as families within the Most High Yah's kingdom. You know, so just think about that uh, if you are single and you want to get married and you want to start a family you know start preparing yourself start preparing yourself spiritually now start growing and maturing in Yah you know if you're a, a, a man and you're single you know make sure that you're prepared you know to uh, spiritually and physically mentally and emotionally bo both the single, you know, the single sisters and the single brothers. And and don't just jump into marriage because, you know, you 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 wanna you wanna have sex. Don't let that be the reason. Because let me tell you, you're not having sitting up here in the bed having sex every day. <laughs> don't get it twisted. That's not what's happening every day. You're living life. You know, you're raising children, you're working, you know, challenges come. And believe me, you know, we've been through some, through some very challenging times within our marriage. And the last thing you're thinking about during those times is whether you can lay down and have sex with your spouse. You're trying with everything that you have to get through that problem or that challenge. And you've got to know that the person that you have married 
is, you know, has your back and is willing to go through that challenge or that trial or that tribulation or that storm with you. And um, I am so grateful that the Most High Yah has blessed me with, with a husband who has, you know, gone through those challenges and those tests and those trials with me in the times when I wasn't mature, you know, in the times where I was having a female tantrum, <laughs> you know, um, and he, you know, didn't get up and walk away in the times when he was maturing. You know, in the times when he was having a mantrum. <laughs> and I didn't get up and walk away. You know. And it never, and I. this is what I will say. Never, ever have I experienced a day with my husband of abuse on any level. No, no physical abuse, no mental abuse, no emotional abuse. And for that, I am truly grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So an environment has been created within our marriage that even though mistakes have been made, you know, maturity needed to happen, it, it has been an environment for both of us to be able to grow you know, and grow together and develop patience with one another. And I'm very, very grateful for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am, you know, now we're working with our sons. Because like I said, we're training two, uh, two future heads of households, you know, in our sons. And so um, that is our um, that is our responsibility um, as parents. And um, so yes, <laughs> twenty six years and counting, we've been together. Actually, twenty seven all together, um, but uh, twenty six years married. So hallelujah, all praise and worship to the Most High Yah for His mercy and his uh, protection over our marriage and his provision for us throughout our marriage and his guidance and him teaching us throughout our marriage and um, revealing things to us along the way that needs to be kept out of our marriage or driven out of our marriage. Hallelujah. Um, I'm just so thankful um, uh, that I have a relationship that we have a relationship with the Most High Yah Hallelujah um, Happy Preparation Day I look forward to Shabbat uh, you know and then we have uh, another Sabbath on the day after tomorrow and you know which is the last great day a time of reflection you know uh, a, a time for us to you know continue to focus on the most high Yah. but I'm grateful for um, our time together this week um, you know this is something that I was uh, different doing something different on um, on this channel thanks to all of you all of my longtime subscribers. This is an opportunity for me to say thank you to all of my longtime subscribers um, that have uh, remained subscribed to this channel. Um, I want to say thank you and welcome to all of the new subscribers who have um, subscribed to the, uh, this channel, the channel in recent months and in recent weeks and this week. If you are a new subscriber to the channel welcome welcome to the channel um and to all of the friends of the channel uh, who may not be subscribed but you um watch and tune in on a regular basis thank you and thank you to all of you who have downloaded the ayabaji app um thanks to all of you 
uh, for downloading. Uh, thanks once again to my husband who created the app and um, those of you who follow um, the content from this channel through the Ayabaji app. It is free on Google Play, Ayabaji. Um, so yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing you a little later on today. Y'all willing for praise and worship and scripture reading. Shalom. See you later.